Now, one thing I'll say about this, the song proceeds on repeating these different parts, the verse, the bridge, chorus, whatever. Um, each time they do it, they kind of change the groove a little bit. That's where Latin goes in, uh, um, Ringo goes into a pseudo-Latin feel, and they do... And, uh, another thing that Lennon does, he'll go... Uh, so bad and it's okay. Now he does a... Sometimes he throws at it, which is the 5-7 of D minor. And when they do the Latin, they go... I want you so bad, babe. Michelle Redux. Right, exactly. And probably, this is a D minor chord. I think... No, Michelle was in C minor, but McCartney might have tipped Lennon off on that one. Oh. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, so there's that. And, but basically it's the same thing. They're just kind of slightly changing it up each time. Very nice, colorful listening, you know. Yeah. Because the words don't do much, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, not a great lyric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now let's look at this thing. Awesome. Now the weird thing about this is, it's... It's the, like, the ending chord is theoretically incorrect to go back to the key of A minor. Okay. Now what do we got is a D minor chord. F, now this is an F6 or a D minor with an F in the bass. Now this, I don't know where the hell he came up with this. Here's another flat 9 chord. Okay. He probably was cued off by this to write the middle section. He probably liked the sour feeling of that chord, but it, I think it came out of this lick first. So we have a D minor, D minor with an F bass, E7 flat 9, B flat 7, and then A7 sharp 5. Now notice all the algebra after all those chords, right? Uh, that is like, you know, this is why people were saying, oh, the Beatles could play jazz too. Oh. Because there's such sophistication. Remember, they weren't great instrumentalists. They couldn't be jazz musicians. They couldn't possibly be. They wouldn't know how to blow through Mr. Sandman. Yeah. You know? But um, what they were were great composers. And they knew harmony so freaking well. Mm -hmm. and it's almost magical how deep they, they had harmony. Uh, so anyway, D minor, F. So we have a D minor chord. If we say E7, let's just say E7 instead of E7 flat 9 for a second. We're going a whole step up from D minor. Now, now where are we leading to? We're leading finally to an A7 sharp 5. Let's just think A7 for a second. Okay. So D minor goes up to F. That's natural to the key. When we get the E7, we're doing 5-7 of something. It's a secondary dominant. It's going somewhere. Okay. But instead of going straight to A7, which is what it's the secondary dominant, where it wants to go. Listen. Right? That could be a composition unto itself. Right? But instead he goes... Now what's happening, this is a redundancy in a way, because he's using E7, then he's using the substitution for E7, the tritone substitution, B-flat 7. This takes us a half step down, this is the way tritone substitutions resolve, in half steps, to A7. Alright, so we get the final result. What I said was the resolution was wrong. A7 should go to D minor. Mm -hmm. But instead he goes to A minor. Mm -hmm. Very bad resolution, bad writing at that at that juncture. Okay. The, the, what should have happened, if this lick is going to the key of D minor, we'd have to rearrange the lick in another key so it would resolve to A minor instead. And that would have worked. Okay. But because there's a poor pop, this is my New York pause, it works. Uh, okay. Right? You hear it? It's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, it is. 
And that's okay, too, because there's a link between A minor and D minor as keys. They're closely related because they have, like, six notes in common. But you know. then again, if that pause had been any longer, or much longer, that would have been unsatisfying somewhat. No, actually, if it was shorter, it would have been unsatisfying. If it was longer, he could have gone to any key after a while. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Let that sink in a second, and then... You know, your ear can adjust quickly oh, to the okay. key change. But if you go, that doesn't work. Okay. Right? Now I'm resolving to A minor where, where he does resolve it, right? Right. It doesn't work. But if I go, suddenly we're, we're able to allow that in. Sure. We've let go of the, the need to resolve that chord. Okay. All right? That's the way That's the way that all this works. And that's, I want you, it's a freaking awesome song. <laughs> All right, and so that's where we are for today. All righty. Vincent Caggiano signing off.